Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to create IP telephony and connect two telephones over voice over IP and we are going to assign them IP addresses and we are going to give them extensions so that these two telephones as I've shown in this topology can communicate with each other. It's a simple topology that consists of a router, a switch and two IP telephone that are going to communicate with each other by configuring VLANs and simple configurations. So let's start uh, by adding up a router which is 2811. We are going to select from the list of devices the router number 2811 and we are simply going to drag and drop on the working area. And after selecting that, we are going to select the switch. The switch that we are going to use would be 2960 switch and we have selected it and dragged and dropped to our working area. Then finally, we are going to select the IP phone from the bottom uh, and the devices and we are going to put up two IP phones one by one. Now we have to connect uh, these uh, router switches and IP phones together. So from the bottom, we are going to select the option and connect them one by one to switch off the IP telephone. Uh, again, another interface of switch connected to the switch port of the telephone. First of all, we are going to connect only one uh, phone. I am now connecting both the phones, uh, but uh, it's better that you disconnect one of them. Now connect the router to an interface of the switch. That's simple as we have always, always and already done. So we are now going to connect this and we are going to use the different interfaces for connections. Uh, topology is now ready. So let's move on to the next step. So let's now double click our router and start configuring its interface FA0 slash 0. First we enabled and then conf T as you can see the previous commands. Then we are going to give int FA0 slash 0 and then we are going to assign IP address IP space address 192.168.10.1 and we are going to assign a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 and we are going to give no shutdown so that the network is uh, and the interface is actually up and doesn't stop running. Now we are going to configure DHCP server which is needed to provide IP phone connected to the network with IP addresses. So we are now going to move on back to our router and we are going to exit so that we get back to the interface. Now we are going to give the command IP DHCP pool space voice. Voice is actually the name of uh, the DHCP pool. Um, and then we are going to give this network command to provide uh, network uh, gateway network space 192.168.10.1 space the subnet mask that we provided previously 255.255.255.0. And let's give default router IP address. Um, the previous command was given to assign IPs. And now we are going to give the default IP which which is again default dash router 192.168.10.1 and we are going to simply type this and press enter finally we are going to give a wipe configuration and this is mandatory option 150 then ip address the option 150 provides a list of ip address which is uh, fetched from the trivial file transfer protocol tftp after that we are going to exit and then uh, we are going to enter into the telephony mode to uh, call uh, the manager express telephony for that purpose we are going to give telephony that serve dash service then we are going to give max dash dn space 5 uh, which is used to define maximum number of directory numbers uh, which is going to be 5 then we are going to give maximum number of phones uh, which is again equal to 5 then we are giving ip source address uh, which is 192.168.10.1 uh, and uh, finally, we are going to give the port number 2000. After that, we are going to uh, give automatic assignment of um, extension numbers to buttons. And for that, uh, we are going to give uh, 4 to 5. This is the range that we are going to assign. And then uh, extension numbers 1 to 5 are also assigned to different numbers. Now we are going to configure our switch to configure a voice LAN. Uh, we are going to go to switch and then uh, EN and CONF T. And 
are now given these commands uh, so let's move on further we are now going to configure interface range for that we are going to give interface range space fa0 slash 0 slash 1 dash 5 so 5 interfaces are going to be configured and after that I'm going to give switch port mode access for communication between different um, devices uh, in our topology and now let's give the command uh, to define the VLAN on which voice packets will be handled and uh, we have port space voice space VLAN 1. So let's move forward now. So here I'm back and I'm going to uh, delete the connection between the other telephone and the switch uh, because at one time we can configure only one telephone. So uh, I'm simply going to cl click the link and delete this um, connection between the telephone and switch. Um, I'm going to do it by clicking it and now I'm going to go to my first IP phone. I'm simply going to click it and after you click it you are going to see this particular interface. You are simply going to drag this connection and put it here to actually connect the charging or power adapter now you can see that we can see this particular interface with the help of this interface we are going to dial between different phones now we are going back again to our router to configure the phone directory for ip phone one we are simply going to give the command e phone dash dn space one to define the first directory entry and we are going to give it the number number space five four double zero one it is the extension number to dial after a minute or so, the settings would be shown, IP addresses and the number. I'm now again going to connect the second phone uh, with the switch using the connection. Here it is now connected. And we are, now we are going back to our router configuration to set up our second phone. We are going to exit the prompt and then we are going to go in configuration e phone dash dn space 2 to set up our second phone. And we are going to give it simply the number five four double zero two and it is now configured here we can see that both our phones are set up and they are showing proper configuration with their numbers and ip addresses so let's move forward now you are now going to click your second phone and you are going to set up the power supply simply drag and drop and here also you can see this particular interface of our second phone and our both phones are now set up so now here we are uh, going to call the other phone uh, 54001 right here 54001 you can see the screen and I'm going to press enter okay it's calling let's go to the let's go to the other phone it's GUI See, I'm getting the call. I'm going to receive it. That's it. I'm now connected. You can see right here it is connected and the call is from 52002. So in this way you can connect both the system, call them, receive a call and so on. So you can also call um, using this system right here. Five. Uh, we are going to put the phone back here and I'm going to call 54002. To press enter. Let's go to the other phone. Okay. It is now connected. Okay. The call from 54001 you can see at the top. And I can put the phone back like this. So that's how we have configured different uh, IP phones and have connected it using IP addresses and extension numbers. I hope you like the video. See you next time.